Hi, it's Rabbi Barkley here at Temple Ner Simcha in Westlake Village, California, with another Torah talk. Insights into this week's Torah portion, the portion of Chaya Sarah in the book of Genesis. It's so important to understand how the weekly portion correlates to what's going on in the world. In this portion, we have something that's very important. In this portion, Sarah has died, and our father Abraham buys the land from the Hittites, which are no longer around. They haven't been around for 3,500 years, but buys the land from them for her funeral plot, for the cave that ends up being her burial place. And they ask, why Why does he have to buy it? They offer to give it to me. He says, no, I want to buy it. So no one ever questions that this is my land. This is my family's land. This is roughly 36, 3,700 years ago. It's so important to understand right now because there's this war going on and, and people think that it's about the land. It's not. In reality, Hamas does not claim a historical relationship to the land. They know that it's not true. They even understand and accept that Abraham bought the land for Sarah. Hamas actually, in their charter, their covenant of 1988, claims a right to the land of Israel based on waqf, holy possession, the idea that once land is devoted to and dedicated to Allah, it is always Allah's. And so they base their right to the fact that they conquered it in the 13th century. Not a historical writer tied to the land, but rather that anything that they ever take is always theirs in perpetuity. Yet we know from this week's Torah portion that in fact, the land was bought, that particular part of Machpelah was bought by Abraham 36, 3700 years ago. The oldest cemetery in all of Israel, in all the region, is a Jewish cemetery on the Mount of Olives 3,000 years ago. And we learn from this Torah portion and from history that in fact the land of Israel not only was promised by God to us, but was bought both with money, in the case of Abraham, with blood and with love. And so we always need to understand that when people make a claim to the land of Israel, it's fallacious. It is not based on anything. And again, this is one of the things we learn from this week's very vital and powerful Torah portion. I'm Rabbi Michael Barclay here at Temple Ner Simcha. May it be a beautiful Shabbos for you. Shabbat Shalom. Let us all pray for Israel and the safety of her soldiers and her land and of her people. Shabbat Shalom.